What's up guys, my name is Josiah Martin and today you're hanging out with the Alaskan Outsider. I love going on as many adventures as I can here in this great state of Alaska and when I do, I bring helpful tips and tricks videos to you to help you get the most out of your camera gear. But today, we're not talking about camera gear, we're talking about going on an Alaska van trip using Alaska vans. Spoiler alert, we made it to Valdez, Alaska, but that's not where the trip started. It started back in Anchorage, where Alaska Vans is based. All right, so we just picked up the van and got a bite to eat here at Cadoba in Anchorage, and now we're about to get on the road and head towards Valdez. Super excited just getting into this van. I mean, I got it on the highway, got it up to 70 miles an hour. It is cruising so smooth, and so we can't wait to uh, get on the road and head towards Valdez. somewhere where it's not raining. The thing you've got to remember when you're doing an Alaska van trip is that it's not always about the destination, but it's about the journey. And we have been making the most of our journey. We stopped in Palmer, stopped by Starbucks, got some fun drinks, continued on the car ride, drove out of Palmer, past Chickaloon, continued on, and we're seeing some incredible scenery. We've been driving along the Matanuska River for quite some time. Now we made it into the town of Glacier View. And you know why they name the town that is because right there you can see Matanuska Glacier, and it has got an incredible view of a beautiful glacier. Although we are heading to Valdez, we're not in a hurry. We're wanting to take lots of opportunities to stop and take pictures along the way and really just soak up the sights because there's a lot of them to be had. really wasn't all that excited for a seven hour car trip all the way to Valdez. I was excited for the destination, but really the entire way we've been just looking out all the windows, just blown away by the beauty. So even though it is somewhat of a long drive, it's worth every minute of it for views like these. So we're about 30 miles from actually making it to Valdez, but we had to stop at Worthington Glacier to just take a peek at this beauty. I mean, everywhere surrounding us, there's just jagged mountains and then this huge wall of ice. So we're getting a closer look up here. And then I think we decided that we'd actually gonna make it to Valdez tomorrow morning and we're gonna spend the night at the Blueberry Lake Recreation Area and uh, set up camp over there. So. We'll be over there shortly. thing about this van is that it really comes with anything you need. We got light for prepping our food, we got a cutting board, a 
got a very sharp knife, spatula and a full kitchen here cooking a delicious skillet. All right, well, we just got wrapped up eating a very delicious dinner cooked by yours truly, my lovely wife, Ryan. Ryan, how was our first day in the van? Oh, it was so good. We took the day to explore and find just the perfect spot, and that meant backtracking a little bit, but we had a great day, found the spot, uh, made some dinner, and we're ready to crash. It's like 10.30. It might still be plenty light outside, but it's the end of June, and that means the sun doesn't set till like 11.30, so good thing this camper comes out with some nice blackout shades. See you guys tomorrow. Well, good morning, guys. Today is day two of living the van life, and I tell you what, so far it has been going great. We're waking up to some gorgeous mountains behind us, get a little caffeine in our system, and then head down the road towards Thompson Pass where there's just a bunch of beautiful waterfalls which we're excited to check out and go find a hike somewhere to get our legs stretching and get moving for today. So anyway, let the adventure continue. trail which is really short it's like 0.8 miles but it is the best bang for your buck so it's beautiful and short and a great time to get out and stretch your legs after a lot of RVing All right, so we just made it down Thompson Pass, went by two brilliant waterfalls, the Horsetail Waterfall and the Bridal Veil Falls. And you've definitely got to stop on your way down Thompson Pass to see those on your way down into Valdez. And it was really foggy still this morning, but it finally burned off. It's really starting to become a nice, beautiful day. Uh, we just stopped by the visitor center here in Valdez and picked up a summer trails guide. And from there, we learned that we wanted to go over towards uh, the harbor to go see that as well as go on a little walk. So let's go. All right, well, we just made it to Glacier View Park and it gets its name because you can see a little hint of a view of the glacier right up there between the mountains. But there's also a big lagoon full of icebergs here. And so to get the most out of our Alaska van trip, what we're gonna try and do is have glacier ice cocktails by the fire later tonight. And to achieve that, we're gonna get our inflatable kayak all pumped up, pop it in the water, go paddle around, see all the icebergs, see the glacier, and then try and chisel off a little bit of ice to bring back home for drinks tonight. So to be perfectly honest, this is actually the first time we're ever using this inflatable kayak, so we're not exactly sure how it's gonna go. It might be an epic fail, but you guys will be the first to find out. And just another tip on how to get the most out of your Alaska van trip, is bring bug spray. Alaska is beautiful, but there's also a ton of bugs and lots of mosquitoes. And right now we are being bombarded by all these little flies as we're trying to pump up this kayak. So anyway, come prepared and it'll pay off. Honey, you ready to do this? <laughs> yes, get me away from the mosquitoes. <laughs> all right, hopefully over there by the ice, there's not as many bugs. What do you think of our kayak so far? I like it. For the price we got it for, it seems like a kid's toy, but it got us around all these icebergs and it's super compact so you don't have to lug a huge kayak around. 
Well, you heard it from her first. Now I'm able to jump out on this iceberg. Hey guys, we made it to a very cool and remote parking spot right out here on this nice little gravel pad. Found a cool little fire pit, got a fire gun, trying to help with the bugs. Not exactly working, but got the awning up and uh, even busted out the hammock to do a little hammocking. So now that everything is set up, it's time to cook some dinner and I think it's also time for a glacier ice cocktail. Let's get those prepped right now. a lot more to offer than glacier ice, all I can say is mission complete. We were supposed to be eating Fritos in a bag, but since the camper came with such nice gear, we decided that we would layer the bottom with lettuce, Fritos, meat, queso on top, onion, salsa, tomatoes, the works. So we're having Mexican food tonight. Yep, sitting around the campfire eating a good meal and enjoying an incredible view. Well, we got all of our dishes cleaned up and put away, and now we're getting ourselves in the van, getting ready for some sleep. Got our uh, fancy uh, mosquito zapper, which came with the van, which is our nightly routine before we go to bed. Gotta check for mosquitoes, make sure nothing's biting us in the middle of the night. Yep, and we brush our teeth. And what did we see while we brushed our teeth? We saw a bear walking through the woods as we were brushing our teeth. So that was really cool. Kind of like treat to top off the end of a great yep. day two here in Valdez. Yep. Now we've had a big day and we're ready. Got one. <laughs> ready for bed. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Well, good morning, guys. Let me catch you up to speed on what's been happening so far today. We woke up, had our morning coffee, and now we're hitting the road saying goodbye to Valdez. You know, we did stop by Worthington Glacier on the way into Valdez, but it was uh, fairly dark, it was cold. We just took a quick peek at it, but now we wanna go back and actually hike up to touch the glacier and uh, check it out a little bit more. From there, we're gonna be driving all the way to the town of Glacier View, where we're gonna be finding a camp spot to uh, break our driving in half so that way on the day that we return the van we don't have to wake up and drive six hours from Valdez to Anchorage. So we'll uh, drive about three hours today and then three hours tomorrow to turn the van back in. So now with coffee in hand driving down the open road with gorgeous mountains everywhere, we're ready for the day to begin.
See what I mean? Not a very pretty creek. Very, very dirty. <laughs> I need my walking stick. So we found a really nice sandy spot that we want to lay down and soak in the sun because it's like 72 degrees out today. But that does involve walking across Caribou Creek. And uh, it's a little deep, a little strong current, but we're making our way across slowly but surely. All right, well, we made it across channel one, but now there's a second channel that we're gonna cross. It's a little bit further, looks a little bit faster, but it's gonna be worth it if we can get over to that sand. We're about ready to have a nice sandy nap. All right, did we have some scary moments in the middle of that river? <laughs> I told you, my adrenaline meter was already maxed. This is the lush, beautiful sand I was looking for. Made it to her spot, time to sit back and enjoy some sun rays. All right, well, we just got up out of the sand, dusted off, and about ready to cross back over the river. And I was falling, uh, falling asleep on the sand. It was so warm and comfortable and this is really the first part of the trip that we haven't been bombarded by bugs so it was a nice relief and we had great scenery as well so now to make it across the river without falling in Woo! kind of cold Alrighty, so since our trek across Caribou Creek, we made it back up to the campground, got our van tucked away for the night. We searched for some firewood and built a lovely nice little fire to cook our dinner on. And babe, we've told them what we've eaten for dinner every single night, so yeah. I'm pretty sure they would just be asking what we ate if I didn't tell them. So go ahead and tell them, it's tradition now. Okay, we're having cheesy brats with vegetables and chips. Yep, so we got yummy brats wrapped in tin foil. <clears throat> we made some hot coals around this campfire so that way we get them nice and toasty. And then we've got some onion dip and broccoli for a healthy appetizer. <laughs> And while we wait for our brats to cook over the fire, we're gonna play a hand of cards, play some rummy, see who wins. I've just gotta reiterate, it was so fast and easy setting up this table. It makes van life way easier when you can bring your dinner outside and enjoy it right next to the fire. Well guys, we had another very enjoyable evening just sitting on our camp chairs by the fire, watching the sun go down. But alas, it is time to head to bed, get some shut eye for our last day with the van tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be heading back, dropping it back off, and then getting on the plane uh, to head to Kodiak to film a wedding. But that's another adventure for another time. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning everybody. It is another beautiful day here in Glacier View, Alaska. We just uh, got up, made our coffee, went ahead and did the dishes so that way everything was clean and we were ready to take the van back and drop it off. So we got about a three hour drive left to get back to Anchorage and we are just excited to soak in even more of the views on the way back. So let the road trip continue. <laughs> You know, some of the best parts of this trip have literally just been driving to the places we've gone to see. Like, the whole drive to Valdez, we were just in shock and awe, like looking at all the mountains and the beautiful scenery around. So, to get the most out of your van trip, I highly suggest, however long 
you plan on driving if it's three hours just a lot four hours so that way you have enough time to stop take pictures along the way and drive five miles an hour below the speed limit so you can just really soak it all in hey.